Hi guys. Well, never let it be said that Humpty Dumpty Drive is not an educational channel. It is a, it is an exciting Friday night in the end times here. <coughs> it would be October 8, 2021. So I'm over here at the mainstream media getting an education. And this is apparently uh, Gwyneth Paltrow holding a cucumber in one hand and a female libido supplement. A female libido supplement uh, in, in this new... Uh, this, this is no fucking joke, guys. I, I truly... I am over on the mainstream media. All right? This is not The Onion. So Gwyneth Paltrow has a new company called Goop. Goop. G-O-O-P. Let's see some of the products that Gwyneth is offering. Uh, Goop. <clears throat> she is offering a jade egg meant to be placed inside your vagina, which may cause toxic shock syndrome to an ultra-pricey gold vibrator that costs as much as many people's yearly rent. But now, Gwyneth and Goop have created a supplement to increase a woman's libido. The new capsules appropriately named DTF. Appropriately named DTF. And uh, I had no fucking clue what DTF meant. Well, I had no clue. You know, uh, I'm learning all kinds of new words. You know, uh, Dulcinea has already taught me the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania slang word jag, meaning, just kidding, Hambone, uh, you know, jagging someone. It's just, you know, you know jacking them around, uh, just kidding, just fooling them. So I've learned jag, and so now I'm off to learn DTF, but Alistair, what does DTF mean? Uh, down to fuck. Uh, down to fuck. Uh, it, you know, it's good to have a, a 35 year old. I did not realize this. Yes, I had to confirm that going back over to uh, Urban Dictionary. Sure enough, DTF, abbreviation for down to fuck. Use down to fuck in a sentence. I did not want to date that hoe. I was just DTF. Yes. Uh, that girl is such a nympho. She doesn't need alcohol to be DTF. But I really like... There is another alternative de definition, which I really appreciated. This is more for me. DTF, <coughs> particularly... You know, uh, thinking about Dulcinea TF, uh, I won't say what the TF means following Dulcinea. Uh, DTF, thinking about Dulcinea, you know, is it, is, which DTF am I thinking about? How about dealing with thoughts of failure? Dealing with, <laughs> dealing with thoughts of failure. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, but but speaking of Doomer Chicks, teaching me new words, a, a, another Doomer Chick who I met this week, who came and visited me actually at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, apparently when she first found Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I guess, I, I think she said... She thought I was a corky, was corkier. It's, uh, I had um, no idea, so I had to go on. So what the hell is a corky? All right. A corky is an idiotic or arrogant white person with severe lack of culture, religion, or morals. An idiotic or arrogant white person with severe lack of culture, religion, or morals. 
It is one of the very few racial slurs that can be applied to Anglo-Saxons using corky in a sentence, don't go worrying about Negroes or Latinos because it's the corky that'll get you when you least expect it. And, uh, but here's one I, maybe she meant this, corky, cute, and dorky, all rolled into one. All right, here is a slightly retarded or downs person. Person with, person who is slightly retarded or slow. Uh, a derogatory term for someone of lower intelligence. Yep, yep, yep. Here's this plain old mentally retarded. Uh, but if you add the letter E to C-O-R-K-E-Y and come up with C-O-R-K-E-Y, a corky then becomes a bubbly, fun person, unique and goofy, has a spunk, has a spunk, and then they lead you over to, to define spunk, great person to laugh with and definitely the type to help you smile, yes, use corky in a sentence, Hambone is such a corky, Hambone is such a quirky fellow with the way he always fills the room with smiles. Yes, but then, guys, uh, then you go down the, the, the dark hole of quirky. You change C-O-R-K-E-Y to C-O-R-K-I-E. All right, and then, uh, and, 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 I, and I must say, uh, I might have mentioned that I used to be a, uh, a, I used to write pornography back when I was in college. I actually uh, was a, a pretty well-known porno writer back in uh, the early 80s. Never heard the term C-O-R-K-I-E is the sexual act of placing one's penis into the stoma. The stoma defined as that throat hole created by years of cigarette abuse until what are, what orgasm. Are you about? <laughs> <laughs> the sexual act of placing one's penis into the throat hole created by years of cigarette abuse until orgasm. Use Corky in a sentence. Hey man, you know that girl on the Douglas stoma? and 30th? She gives a good Corky for 20 bucks. Don't say you never learned anything on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So anyway, that is your vocabulary lesson for today, guys. And... Uh, we're going to uh, get back to, uh, I will let you know what else I find on Urban Dictionary, but I highly recommend Urban Dictionary. So, uh, this corky's for you. So, uh, <laughs> are you a big enough corky to know what the fuck corky means? Get out there and cork while you still can. My gosh.